Yeah, you're lucky you didn't get shot. Good. Shoot me next time, tough guy. You want to get shot? How about this? Take the cuffs off. Let's see who gets shot and who does what. Oh, really? Is that a threat to me? Welcome back to We The People University. My name is Abaya Israel, former police officer and former sheriff's deputy. All right, I'll say this really quickly and we're gonna jump into this video. If you are going to be an auditor or you're gonna be anybody who's trying to get law enforcement to respect the rights of the public, there is a way you have to do so. Playing silly games is not that way. Walking around in a state with no open carry laws with rifles openly displaying them on your back and guns on your hip, knowing that there is no open carry laws, but yet you use BB guns to pretend like these are actual real guns, you know for a fact you're going to get the attention of law enforcement. And when they show up, now you say, hey, no laws were broken. So if there's no laws that say you can open carry or there's laws against you open carrying in a state, but yet you have a rifle, BB gun, or open carry pistol on your hip, then yes, that is reasonable, articulable suspicion that you may be committing a crime that says you cannot open carry in that state. Let's jump right into this video. I want to know your thoughts on this one. Hey, fucking stop, dude. You gonna shoot me? For what? Don't touch stop. Stop. Hey. Have I done nothing? You're going to break my wrist? You're going to break my wrist? Guy, take it off and go look. Tell me what's illegal. Yeah, it's a pellet gun. Yeah. Well, when illegal. the cops tell you to stop, you stop. Then what's illegal? I'm curious about what's illegal. Are you illegal? We don't know. We don't know we if you have a real gun. gun. You have a handgun. David on your Brown. Leg. Look yeah. up David Brown. Okay. Ask him. Well, you know that. This wants to pull a gun for what know your fucking laws yeah know my laws what does this look like to you i don't give a fuck. you are retarded. it's my right guys david brown i already looked it up it's on safety don't fuck it. shut up you guys know like i know um i'm all for our rights but i'm going to be honest in this video there are a lot of guys on youtube who are doing more damage to this movement than helping and to walk around with the bb gun and just to antagonize or try and get the cops to come out so you can get some views that's not that's not helping this this movement that's not helping the police to understand they need to respect our rights that's helping them to look at everyone who's trying to get the cops to respect rights it's helping the cops to look at auditors as simply antagonizers and someone who's trying to get a quick lawsuit yeah you're lucky you didn't get shot good fucking shoot me next time tough guy you want to get shot how about this take the cuffs off let's see who gets shot and who does what oh really is that a threat to me no you're threatening my wife pull the fucking nine on me over one over one and then drop my phone yeah absolutely absolutely no you, don't. you are detained for what you are detained. I like you. You're fine. I can talk to you, but this guy? Well, why didn't you talk to me? All, all I said was, hey, what's It said anymore. It's just non compliant with these detained. Why are you going through my bag? Make sure you don't have another gun in. Why are you going through my bag? He's legally detained and illegally no. searching my bag over what? Over what? Oh, I'm making what? sure you don't have another gun. I don't have a gun, so you need to follow up on your laws because you're not classified <laughs> okay. as a gun in the article of the state of Florida. Guys? You're a sovereign citizen? No, it's a state of Florida right. Turn okay. sure, I'm going to pat you down. You're going to pat me down for what? For weapons. I how don't many, have anything. How many more times do you have to be told that? How many times do you got to be told it's not a weapon? How many times do you got to be told that in the state of Florida it is 100% legal for me to carry? Stop touching my sh**. Shut up. Make me. And now at this point, it is an illegal search. The officers, as you saw, he opened his bag. This guy's not under arrest. He's just being detained. Now he's going through his pockets. He lifted up his shirt. You know, this is an illegal search. And you're going to hear the officers say, and they stated they knew it was a BB gun. My only question is, when did they, like, when did you find out? Okay, so if you knew it was a BB gun or a pellet gun, then okay, 
you know what's going on. But in another portion, they stated that they knew, but they did not know the gun on his waist was if it was a BB gun or not. So we got officers conducting illegal searches, and we also have a guy walking around with guns open carrying in a state where it's completely illegal to open carry unless you're hunting or fishing and a few other things that are accepted. You have to be on your way to or from hunting or fishing, all right? Or you can be on your private property doing so. But to just be walking around in public with a rifle and a gun on your waist, it's illegal in Florida. He was asking for the attention. You pulled the gun out on me already. No, no, no. You pulled the gun out on me already. Fucking twisted my wrist for what? And then fucking smacked my phone out of my hand so I couldn't record so, you for what? So hear me For out. what? I'm trying to explain to you, but if you keep saying for what, I'm not going to You have be handcuffs able to... on me illegally because I'm detained They're for what? They're absolutely not for on you. what illegal. law did I violate? What hey, law did I break? You got this recording, this right? I'm recording. Thank you. Listen, Thank you. Relax. relax. He smacked my shit can out of my hand when I was recording. Can we have a conversation? We I'm can. Too. Fuck him. Okay. Again, no law was broken here because, as they found out, these were not real guns. But remember, when we state reasonable, articulable suspicion that someone is committing a crime or has committed a crime or is in the process of committing a crime, well, there was reasonable, articulable suspicion that he was in the process of breaking a Florida state law. And that's why he is detained at this point. We Here's can. the deal. Yes, you have a right. <laughs> No, they didn't. No, take it up with David then. Because according to him, they abolished that David who? David Brown. Who is David Brown? What do you mean? Who is David? Are you guys not familiar with your own law enforcement around here? I don't don't know what David Brown. David Brown. According to him, he's Is he the new kid from Georgia? I don't know what David Brown is. Is Matt Brown? Third shift. So yeah. Third shift. So there is no open carry in the state. Yes, you can conceal. Yeah, but you cannot open here. So, so you you are gone. listen yes. listen to me. Correct. You are partially correct. With that not being a firearm, correct. You can carry it around. Correct. Okay. Correct. But do you want? Can we have a rational conversation with each other? You want to? Because you asked me, I will be more than welcome okay. to. Yes. Okay. So put yourself in our shoes. Okay. We've received multiple nine one one calls about a man walking around the neighborhood dressed in all black with hair almost to his shoulders with a rifle or shotgun on his back. Okay. okay. He sees you walking down the street. That guy back there, no, yeah. He, no, he sees you walking down the street, says, hey, I found him. He's got a rifle on his back. We both were able to identify that that was a pellet gun. I can, I, I grew up around guns, man. I can tell that this is a brake barrel pellet gun okay, while it's so on your back. Knows, Look, knows, okay, but to me, draw your gun on me without because probable I don't, cause. I don't, know what, I don't need probable cause to put my gun in your face. Really? Yeah. Really? So, so if I've done that, nothing wrong like I have today, so you have listen, every right to pull a gun me. in my face? Listen to me. I don't know what it. that is. They don't have to. Yes. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. What's, Matter of fact, do you, you think you're the first person? This makes it six times now I've had a gun pulled on me. Then why are you doing this? this? No, because the first three times I called you guys and you guys came down and I had nothing at that point in my life. I okay. start carrying because of you guys. You're carrying a, pel- a BB gun because of the cops? You can assume what it is, Bob, until you've officially pulled it all apart and realized the difference between that and then what I've had to do to it, then yes. I've had to make that my own personal defense weapon. Okay, so you've turned this into a firearm, is what you're saying. Guys, shoot it into the ground real quick. Do you know what a firearm is? It's a it's a BB gun. Okay, so you know that's not a firearm. Exactly. Okay. So what are you well, what are you gonna do so with it? You just stated I had a firearm and I made it to a firearm. Then again, states that that's not a firearm. Okay. No, I didn't insinuate. You took that for what it was. Am I being arrested? You are you are detained. For what? What law did I violate? Guys, don't be scared. What law did I violate? This is. So the rest of the video is just a cop sitting in his car. The guy was not arrested. He was released. He was, in his opinion, just unlawfully detained. I want to know, what is your thought? Do you think this guy was unlawfully detained? Um, I don't know. I may ruffle a few feathers, but I'm going to say, no, you were not unlawfully detained. 
because an officer needs reasonable articulable suspicion to detain you, which I believe they had. Why? Because the state law stated that you cannot open carry. So when they see something that's reasonable and they can articulate why they believe you are in the process of committing a crime, then they do have the right to stop you and investigate. You're open carrying in a state that says no open carry. Do I agree with the law? Do I think we should be able to open carry anywhere? Do we have a second amendment right? Of course we do. I'm not saying that I uh, agree with it, but what I am saying is at this point in time, that is the state law in Florida. So there was reasonable articulable suspicion to detain you. Again, doing little tricks or trying to get the police out just to get their attention so you can say, aha, got you moment or lawsuit, that doesn't help the cause. Okay, we're this this entire movement was started so that Police officers can understand that the people are standing up for their rights. We want our rights to be respected. But these type of videos can uh, have the opposite effect, in my opinion. Let me know. You may disagree, but this is just my opinion and what I think about it. I think about let's go out and if we're going to audit, let's do so actually obeying the law and not actually doing something that we know is going to tick off a police officer or uh, just get him to come detain us because what we are doing does look like a crime. And if it does look like a crime, then if it's reasonable and he can articulate it, then he can detain you. He can investigate. Um, now, the point of it is this. You using free speech, recording in public, yeah, to cops that look like that looks like a crime as well. But we want to educate them. Anything constitutionally protected should not look like a crime to you. Not actually do things that can actually be mistaken for crimes and then try to use the fact that hey, I'm not committing a crime. I don't think it's helping, just my opinion. I'm again, I'm curious to know what you guys think. But in the meantime, make sure you always know your rights and record the police. That being said, we the people university signing off. Be sure to visit WeThePeopleUniversity.com where you can find our latest YouTube videos, more about myself, why I left the police department, merch, and more. If you have a police encounter that you would like highlighted, visit our website and click the Submit Videos tab. Fill out the video form submission so that we can hold these tyrants accountable. And if you guys still haven't purchased my book, Living in the Royal Tyranny, you can do so at WeThePeopleUniversity.com by clicking Digital Copy to read it right on your phone, or you can buy the hard copy or the paperback directly from Amazon. Also, be sure to pick up your free ebook to give you tips and tricks on how to deal with cops when you encounter them. And for those of you who are still trying to learn your basic rights, register for our course to learn how to deal with police so that your rights are not violated when you encounter cops. All this and more at wethepeopleuniversity.com.